in the kitchen or the bedroom, yeah. sex or cooking. And you know, he would just have to glance at her and she'd have an orgasm. <laughs> I don't think this is the way it is. <laughs> no, I had to work a little harder than that. And so I decided I wanted to create really strong female characters. And I created Montana in Hollywood Wives. Mm -hmm. And you know, she's a director and a writer and she walks into a, uh, a meeting at the studio and one of the guys said, hey, get me some coffee, honey. You know, I'm like, you know, this doesn't matter. I remember doing an interview, I think it was for one of the New York papers, not yours. <laughs> and, we, and we did an interview, it was quite nice, and I'm walking out and the guy pinched me on the ass. Oh! oh and you know what I did? I thought, well, I could slap him, I could do that, but I wanted to be a good interview. So I turned around and I pinched him on the ass, and then I left him. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the way to deal with it. Yeah, but I love writing strong women. I think that it's very important for women. I mean, I have goddaughters, you know, they go out to the clubs and uh, they drag me out with them one night. I don't like going to clubs because my husband owned clubs for so many years and I sat there for so many years watching people get fucked up. But now you go to the clubs and you see these girls in skirts that barely cover the sea level. And they're like, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Do you want to be, what do you want to be, a, a reality star, do a sex tape, do you think that's what it is all about? Women have to have something for themselves. They have to have a passion, they have to have a power. Even if it's making cupcakes, they have to have something that belongs to them that they can do better than anybody else. And put their passion into it because otherwise you could end up with a, you know, a husband and, and two kids and he's slaving over a hot secretary and she's just left at home doing nothing and she hasn't got the money to leave or she's got no independence of her own. And women need to have independence and that's what they don't have. They get married, they have the kids, they do everything, they don't get paid for doing everything. And, and they you know, can end up in a bad situation. I mean, I went to a, a, a place in Canada where uh, all these women were hiding out from abusive husbands. And I heard all the stories and it was just so, you know, mind shattering because they've had kids there and, and the husbands had beaten them up so many times and they couldn't, we couldn't get out, they said, because we've got no money, we've got nowhere to go. So women always have to have somewhere to go. Power to women, that's what I say. Yes. 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 I'm okay, getting like that. <laughs> all his money's in my name, so it's all right. <laughs> Actually, that's a question for you. A lot of gay men love Jackie Collins. Why do you think that is? Because I write a lot of them. 